Still in politics, Raila Odinga's tenure as the African Union Special Representative on Infrastructure has come to an end, with many speculating on whether a move by the AU to relieve him of his duties was politically motivated due to his squabbles with the Kenya Kwanzaa government. On his part, the ODM leader has thanked the AU for that opportunity, stating that he had expressed interest to step down in order to deal with other pressing issues. And TV's Leila Mohammed has the lowdown. Months after the infamous handshake at the steps of Harambe House in Nairobi, ODM leader Raila Odinga landed a continental job in the Addis Ababa-based African Union to tackle the issue of growing Africa's capacity to move with the developed world in terms of infrastructure. Diplomacy pundits have called that announcement in 2018 on how they saw it citing much more than his leadership abilities as the reason for his new role at the AU then. Uh, during that time you can understand the contextual uh, happenings during that time. So it, the appointment as the AU Special Envoy for Infrastructure was largely seen as a political appointment. Uh, but uh, we saw towards the end um, a, a little bit of work continued to be done by the ex-premier of the, of the Republic of Kenya. Five years down the line, his sudden exit from the continental duties has also raised eyebrows in diplomatic circles who also read politics, especially at the national level, as one of the major reasons for that exit. It is too early to tell, but uh, from the look of uh, today's uh, developments, actually we could say it could have been a result of this uh, squabbles between uh, uh, these two S12 enemies, uh, if you may call them that. In his letter to Raila Odinga, Musa Faki thanks him for his duty to the continent, while expressing that the continent would ask him again to take up another duty in the future. AU notes that while Raila's role has been invaluable, the transformation of NEPAD has been completed with the body set to undertake full mandate to implement continental agenda on infrastructure. The major role of the NEPAD actually is to look at new uh, partnerships for development aimed at spurring the, the Africa's economy and infrastructure was one of them. While thanking the AU for his tenure in office, Raila has also noted that while the contribution he made to the transformation of NEPAD was huge, many challenges still remain in the continent. Raila states that he had expressed a desire to step down and focus on other matters and that his duty at the African Union was strained by his lack of availability to do his job. If you look at it more from the domestic angle where you see uh, Raila's eyes are more uh, um, inclined towards what is happening domestically and not at the continental level. He steps down at a moment where his political ally Uhuru Kenyatta has picked up more continental duties at the moment taking care of matters in Nigeria. Leila Mohamed, NTV.